thank you guys. Uh, we've just finished up our coverage of the Bundesliga game between Augsburg and Frankfurt. Uh, I just want to spend a little bit of time talking to you guys about the American Timmy Chandler because he've, yep. he feels like he's been such a crucial part of Frankfurt and their success, perhaps excluding this game, but their success so far this season. Yeah, he's played really, really well. And as more and more uh, U.S. men's national team eligible players start to play in Germany, it stands to reason that some of them are going to do well and they're going to, uh, they're going to have valid attention. So we're talking at Timothy Chandler. This is a guy, obviously, who's been involved in the U.S. men's national team. Uh, everyone's saying, well, okay, this is a guy that's playing really, really well right now. Should he be involved going through? Now, keep in mind that Sometimes form is fallacy. So just because a player is playing well at club doesn't mean necessarily that it translates to the international level. Especially when you look at Timothy, Chandler, uh, Timothy Chandler's record with the national team and the way that he's played. He has been anything less uh, than uh, convincing when it comes to his consistency and his ability to make an impact. Now, maybe he's a new player. And certainly the way that he's playing right now, especially over on this left-hand side and his more advanced position, maybe he's going to be an option going forward. But just because a player, whether it's Timothy Chandler or any of the players that are playing over the Bundesliga, are playing well, yes, they deserve attention. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they deserve or should be called in, or if they get called in, that they will be able to translate that form to the national team. It's a very different type of position and animal. Yeah, I agree with you. I think that the form he is in right now is difficult to argue against that he deserves an opportunity to try and impress once again. Even in today's defeat or the defeat against um, Augsburg, he was the best player for Eintracht Frankfurt, got forward, has confidence, and you can tell he's working well with Niko Kovac. And when you're in that type of form, you definitely put pressure on whoever the national team boss will be. You're putting pressure on his shoulders to try and give him a call up once again. He's clearly stated he wants to be back involved with the national side, and you do your talking on the field. And he He's clearly doing that at this moment in time. Ultimately, a national team is not about uh, the best players. It's about the best collection of players. And we still don't know who that national team coach is going to be. So whoever it is, he and she, he or she is going to have to decide. And it's going to be an individual opinion. And you might be that cup of tea or you might not. And whether yeah. it's Tim Lee Chandler or anybody else, uh, they can waste time and energy trying to figure out and trying to be part of that national team. Or they can just keep doing their job, which is what they're doing. And that's all that you can do ultimately because you have no control after that that human being says, I want you or I don't want you. And they might say, yeah, we don't want you. It's okay. There might be some very, very good players that don't get called into the national team. But when they're playing well like Timothy Chandler, they're going to uh, they're gonna have a lot of attention, and rightfully so. Yeah. Uh, well, Frankfurt not getting the better of Augsburg today. Augsburg returning to action this upcoming Friday as they face RB Leipzig. That game is going to be shown for you on FS2. On Saturday, we've got Bayern Munich hosting Schalke, also on FS2 at 12.30 Eastern. In addition to the Bundesliga, we'll also bring you coverage of the all-important U.S. Soccer Federation presidential election. That is it for us today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.